Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm back with more GarageBand videos. Today what we're going to do is set up an electric guitar track for GarageBand. And uh, I'm just going to show you really easily, really simply, it is GarageBand, this is how to open a new project file and have uh, your guitar going into it. So let's get started. All right, so here's the new project window that you'll see when you open GarageBand. This is where you select the instrument you're going to be recording. We're going to be doing electric guitar today, so we choose that. We go down to choose. I'm just going to go ahead and leave this as my song 18. Feel free to label it whatever you want. And we go to create. Our window opens, and I'm going to enlarge it for you guys so you can see it better. All right. So the first thing we want to do is be able to hear the guitar track. So go over to the amplifier on the right hand side, double click it, and you get these panels right down here. We're going to choose monitor on. I like the one with feedback protection. Occasionally, you know, stuff happens and uh, it'll feed back and it's a nice way to avoid blowing up your equipment. But anyway, here's the amplifier sound. So we double click that. And obviously, or maybe not so obviously, this is supposed to be an AC-30, which is, you know, the uh, amplifier the Beatles made famous. So. Uh, but there's not, that's not the only one. There's lots of amps. There's the Fender. The Fender Champ, which is a great amp if, you, if anybody has one. Uh, this is more like a... I'm going to go out and say Mesa Boogie half stack. Great sustain. And the Marshall, of course. So anyway, those are the different amplifiers you can choose from. I'm a Fender guy, so I'm going to go with the Fender. Of course, here you have all your typical gain, bass, mids, treble, and present settings. Um, you know, work just like on your standard amplifier. Uh, the reverb is actually not too bad on here. It's actually pretty accurate. It's got a pretty nice springy sound to it, which is pretty cool. So, anyway, um, as you see, it comes default with two pedals already set up. One of them, this one is a compressor sustainer pedal, and this is a delay pedal. Click on either of them, and you can see them and their controls. If you'd like to have some different effects, you can double click on these pedals, and it opens up these 10 different options. Now, these range from everything from phasers to multiple different distortions. Here's a retro chorus, a vibrato. This is an envelope filter. Um, which is like an automatic wah pedal, and then these other two, which we already talked about. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Vintage Overdrive, which is, you know, to me, the most useful one. Uh, I'm going to dial the drive back a little bit, tone up a little bit, and you have all sorts of options. The, the fat is more or less a low mid boost. Um, <laughs> can probably hear that difference so anyway let's get to recording so we go over here to our channel check our signal level looks pretty good and then we go down to record now you can either hit this button right here or you can just hit the R button on your computer keyboard uh, they both work so I'm just gonna hit R So we have a rhythm guitar track. So that's that. All right, so now we want to, let's say we want to do a lead track for this. Uh, there's two ways you can go about creating a second track. You can either go down here to this plus here on the lower left hand corner 
and create a new track like we did before. Um, but since we spent all the time dialing this one in, or the little amount of time we did, but anyway, um, you can duplicate this track. And there's two ways to do that as well. You can either go up to track right here and go down to duplicate track. Or right here on the right hand side, you see the keyboard strokes. And this represents command and D. This is the one I use the most often. Um, so let's just click on here. And we get a second track. So let's say we want to do something a little different with this sound. Let's uh, turn on the delay a little bit. And we can't really hear it. That's nice. And I'm going to change the pickup on my guitar to get a different sound. That sounds pretty good. All right, so now all we have to do is make sure that this channel is selected and armed. And we hit record. That's it. Um, obviously, there's lots of things you could do with the mix. I could, uh, I don't know, turn the lead up a little bit, maybe even put it over on one of the sides just to add a little bit of separation. That's pretty much all I'm going to show you for now. Um, as always, if there's any other GarageBand things you'd like to learn, please don't hesitate to let me know, and I'll happily get online and make a video and do all that good stuff. So that's it. Have a nice day. Peace.